The next logical operator we have is OR. So OR uses the pipe character, which is located above the return key, at least on every keyboard I've used. You hold SHIFT, and for me it's on the uh, backslash character. So SHIFT and then backslash gives you those pipes. So those are not ones, they're not L's, they're not slashes, they are pipes. So you need two of them in a row. And OR is similar to AND in that it takes two sides, left and right, but it works differently. If either side is true, the entire thing is considered true. So if we have true or false, only one of them needs to be true for the whole thing to be true. So if both of them are true, that's fine. It's not saying only one can be true. It just needs one at a minimum to be true, the left or the right. And if that happens to be both of them, if it's one of them, it doesn't matter. But in the event that neither side is true, so we have false or false, the entire thing is considered false. So again, this is not how you would usually use it. Neither is this, but this is slightly more complicated. We're evaluating two expressions. So is one equal or one not equal to one? That would be false because one is equal to one. So we have false or 10 equals 10, that's true. False or true is true. Zero or undefined. Now, remember we talked about truthiness and falsiness. Zero is considered falsy, undefined is falsy. So we end up with false or false. Neither side is true, so the whole thing is false because logical or. Then we have the one in the middle. 10 divided by two equals five, that is true or null, which is falsy, so true or false, that evaluates to true. So let's see an example where you would use this in practice. Let's say we were, I don't know, running a, a community theater program, and uh, we're at the box office, and we're charging tickets for people who are adults, not children, and we're defining children as people under the, the age of six, and senior citizens also get in for free. So if you are one of those categories, either under six years old or over 65, you get in for free, otherwise you don't, you have to pay $10, we could use OR. So we would write something like this, let me close this down a bit, let age equals, let's go with 78, if age is greater than, let's go with the less than one first, if age is less than six, or age is greater than or equal to 65, at least in the US, I think 65 year olds are considered seniors. It depends on the place. We'll console.log, you get in for free. And then we'll have our else, you must pay. Okay, so we have two things. And if either one is true, you get in for free. If age is under six, you're free. If age is under 65 or greater than or equal to 65, you also get in for free. Let's see what we get. You get in for free. If we change it to three years old, you also get in for free, but if you're 30, you have to pay. So if we were to rewrite this without using the logical operator, it would be something like if age is less than six, you get in for free. And then we could also have an else if age is greater than or equal to 65, you get in for free, else you have to pay. So when we use or, we can combine multiple pieces into one line or one expression. And again, one side is all that is required in order to pass go, in order for the expression to be true and our code to run. We can also chain multiple ORs together just like we can with AND. Uh, let's do a quick example. There are many, many colors out there in the world, but fans of mine or longtime students know the best color of all time is without a doubt purple. So let's write some code that checks to see if a color is purple or if it's uh, a shade of purple like orchid, or um, violet, we'll go with three to start. So if it's one of those, we'll console.log, congrats, you picked purple or something like that. So we need a variable, we'll go with let color equals something, we'll fill it in. If color is equal to purple, or color is equal to lilac, or color is equal to violet or some other color. Then we'll console.log great choice. We could keep chaining these on and on and make a very long statement. But as you can see here, color is empty string, we don't get anything. Let's set it to violet. 
Great choice. So only one of these has to be true. And in our case, violet, color was equal to violet. Even though these were false, this was true. So we print great choice. You can chain them together. Although there is a much better way of checking one value. Like if we had a color and we had 10 valid options, we wanted to make sure it was one of those options. You would not need to chain this 10 times. There are other tools you can use once we talk about arrays and, and some other built-in methods that come with JavaScript that would make your life easier, but we're not there. So we would write it like this. We're still just focusing on or. So we've seen and and or, they are similar in that they take a left and a right side. We often use them in conditional statements inside the parens, but they're very different in how they behave. When we have and, both sides must be true in order to move on. When we have or, just one needs to be true.